and welcome to Animal Watch. And this week we're talking Sholos or the Mexican hairless dog. Hello and welcome to Animal Watch. And this week we're meeting the Thai Ridgeback. With an appearance that looks like both could have fallen out of a horror film, these zombie-like dogs are certainly an acquired taste. Otherworldly appearance and eyes that pierce through your soul. Are these dogs truly the stuff of nightmares, or is there more to them underneath that wrinkly skin? And if you could pick, which one would you vote as being the world's scariest dog? has filmed both the Mexican Zolo and the Thai Ridgeback, and both dogs fascinated our viewers with millions of views. Everyone curious to find out more about these mystical zombie-like dogs. Today we will pitch both dogs against one another in order to determine character and physical traits, and whether there is one which can outdo the other as world's most unusual dog. Let the competition begin. Round one, history. Which one is the most ancient? The Zolo, short for Sholo Eats Quintly. Ceramic sculptures of a hairless breed of dog have been found in burial sites in ancient West Mexico. Zolos were often sacrificed and then buried with their owners to act as guides to the soul on its journey to the underworld. The ancestors of the Zolo would have had to have travelled originally over the Bering Strait with the first settlers from Asia, and then developed into the unique-looking hairless dogs hundreds of years later. Despite them appearing super old, these dogs will have appeared after the colonisation of the Americas by the Indian tribes, so not as old as one might think. Arctic breeds will be more basal than these dogs, and these dogs will be the ancestors of these basal arctic breeds. It is still, however, an ancient breed that traces its roots back to the time of the Aztecs, making the breed at least 4,000 years old. Scotty Westfall, author of Retrieverman.net, claims, The mutation that causes hairlessness in these dogs has been traced to Mexico around 4,000 years ago, Further, there is good evidence that shows that the indigenous dogs of the Americas were replaced with a genetic swarm of European dogs. This means that the Zolo, even though it has this mutation that originated in the Americas, is mostly European dog in its ancestry, which includes the German Shepherd, the Berger Picard and the Chinook. This means that the dog called the Zolo is mostly rough pastoral dog from the Iberian Peninsula, and it is not an ancient American breed anymore. And though people would love for the Zolo to be this untouched, pure strain of dog, it simply sadly is not anymore. In fact, it is very heavily admixed with Southern European herding dog to the point that the dog is almost entirely that in ancestry. The Thai Ridgeback the Thai Ridgeback is a primitive breed that originated in Thailand. The dogs were used in Thailand as watchdogs, to pull carts and to hunt vermin such as rats and dangerous prey such as cobras and wild boar. Thai Ridgebacks are a very ancient breed dating back three to 4,000 years ago, according to archaeological drawings. These historic drawings show a dog with a sickle tail and erect ears, suggesting it could be a Thai Ridgeback. Thai Ridgebacks originally came from the Pho Kok Island, originally part of Siam, now as a part of Vietnam. Now, as these dogs originated in the Old World, does this mean that they are more ancient than the Zolo? Drawings and paintings depict Thai Ridgeback types going back thousands of years, and as they haven't been subjected to recent admixture, their ancientness most probably exceeds the Zolos. No one really knows which one is the most ancient, as both sets of evidence points to similar points in time for appearance, 
which is around three to 4,000 years ago. However, as the Thai Ridgeback is from the old world and possesses some extremely primitive character traits, which could be argued as inherited from some of the first dogs known to man, and the Zolo, a dog breed created from basal breeds in the new world, it could be argued that the Thai Ridgeback is more ancient than the Zolo. And for this reason, I will award the Thai Ridgeback 5 out of 5 for ancientness and the Zolo 4 out of 5, as he is still extremely ancient compared to all of our new breeds developed over the last 300 years. Congratulations, our Thai Ridgeback. You win this round. Round 2. Temperament. Which one is the better house pet? Now, both dogs are ancient, and with ancient breeds come independence, but both do have fairly different characters. The Zolo, described as self-serving and aloof, this Will-o'-the-Wisp dog will move the moment you tell him to stay still. He can be trained, but it is difficult, as he is constantly distracted by other dogs and things happening around him. He has a history as being used as a hot water bottle to cure and help sick people, and this is why he can be clingy and needy to the primary carer. He is a kind-natured dog and extremely playful. He adores other dogs and will play for hours with them. He can be skittish with strangers and not allow them to touch him. The toy versions are far cuddlier than the standard versions, but the standard versions definitely show more of the ancient aloofness. He is a great alarm dog and will bark to let you know of intruders, but his skittishness may mean that he won't be much of a guard dog if somebody physically enters the house. He will be gentle with kids if he lets them near him, as he may just run circles around them so they can't catch him. Aggression is not part of his nature. The Thai Ridgeback. He certainly shows his working roots, as bred to rat and hunt. He is very predatory and will chase cats and small animals. He is extremely loyal to his owner, and because of this, can be guarded with strangers and those entering in on his property. For this reason, the owner needs to socialise him heavily and control his urge to protect them, as he could be deemed as confrontational if he gets too wary of strangers. He is kind to children belonging to the family, but still, as a working dog, needs to be guided with what behaviour is acceptable as he is raised. An entire male will be far more confrontational than a neutered one. He tends to be a smart dog and an independent thinker. Two strikes for a first-time or inexperienced dog owner. He will push you to the edge to see what he can get away with, and if you let him win even once, you may never regain the upper hand. His wariness can be a problem if not tackled young, which can lead to fear biting. So for the reasons stated, we will award the Zolo 3 out of 5 for temperament, as despite their nervousness with strangers, they are sweeter if this gets out of control than the Thai Ridgeback who will channel his nerves into confrontation. The Thai Ridgeback gets one out of five. We love both breeds, but I have to be honest, with responsibility of these ancient breeds come a few issues, but these can be ironed out if you are a strong and consistent owner. Congratulations, our Zolo. You win this round. Round three, looks. How does each one look? based on scariness and weirdness. The Zolo. Despite the commonly shared photos depicting wrinkly, hairless dogs, this dog does in fact come in two fur types, hairless and haired. He can be a charcoal black colour, which combined with yellow amber eyes, presents an incredibly striking and almost unreal dog one that has been described as looking like a statue or a waxwork. But he can also come in a short-furred version with soft brown eyes, which looks like a typical dog. His teeth match his hair, and most hairless Zolos will be missing teeth or lose teeth over their lifespan. His webbed feet look like bat's feet, 
and their dexterity can grip toys like no other dog can. Let's look at both these types. On the left, we have a black hairless solo with yellow eyes, and on the right, we have a fully haired version with soft brown eyes. Quite different looking, aren't they? However, the dark colored version with his missing teeth, a hairless waxy skin, and bright yellow eyes can look just like a zombie dog from a horror or a sci-fi movie. We can imagine him in Resident Evil, Tomb Raider, and Pharaoh-type mummy dogs emerging from crypts. He truly is Anubis, guardian of the underworld, to those that witness him in the flesh, and is truly otherworldly when his yellow eyes look deep into your soul. The Thai Ridgeback, very muscular and quite intimidating to the appearance. Some look almost pit bullish with their wider faces and muscles. It can look hairless, but is in fact covered with a very short fur, which comes in colors blue, black, red, and fawn. Their eyes are almond shaped and can come in amber as well as darker colors. Very well built and look as though they would certainly look after their owner and be quite guarded. He has a different feel to the Zolo, and where the Zolo is otherworldly, the Thai Ridgeback looks super intimidating. His muscles and his dominant posture makes him all the more terrifying, as not only is he unusual to look at, he looks like if he wanted to get you, you wouldn't stand a chance. He too looks like he has fallen out of a horror film, and to be quite honest, I think we'd run from him over the Zolo. However, otherworldliness wins, and there really is no dog on planet Earth as unusual and mystical as the Zolo with his waxy black skin, piercing yellow eyes, and webbed feet. And for this reason, the Zolo gets five out of five for weirdness and strangeness. And our tougher dog, the Thai Ridgeback, gets four out of five, as he sure is unusual, but just not quite as creepy as the Zolo. So let's tot up the scores. Our Thai Ridgeback gets 10 out of 15 and our Zolo gets 12 out of 15. We believe that not only is the Zolo the better house pet, but he is also the most unusual of the two dogs and really does look like Anubis has risen from the underworld if you possess one of the hairless amber-eyed versions, like our Milo we filmed here on Animal Watch. Some may call him ugly, but we prefer to call him unconventional. And those who have one think they are a statue given to them from the gods. The Thai Ridgeback is indeed one of the world's most unusual looking dogs too, and could be described as also zombie-like and intimidating. But he's just not quite as strange as the Zolo. So congratulations, our Zolo. You are our winner here on Animal Watch. And if you would like to watch our episodes on the Zolo and the Thai Ridgeback, then you can find the links in our description below the episode, in the links at the end of this episode, and also in the information bar at the top. And until next time, make sure to check under your bed before you turn your lights out, as there may be one of our zombie dogs waiting for you or perhaps simply waiting in your bed to snuggle you to sleep. Bye for now.